going on guys? So today we're back with another Pokemon Masters video and today we're actually going to be continuing in our little tirade here of getting through all of the sync grids, kind of just going over a basic overview and then talking about a couple of build ideas that I have found and just kind of thought were interesting. So, uh, first thing I do want to say that uh, these build ideas came from Reddit. They're not my own creations, um, but I definitely highly recommend these. I think these are really smart ideas and uh, definitely should be looked at if you're interested in boosting up sync grids. So, since uh, Flint, who we're talking about today, currently has his sync pair or his sync grid uh, expanded, as you can see, there it is. Uh, we are actually going to go through, we're going to look at each individual tile just to kind of get an idea of what everything is, and then kind of talk about some different things that uh, we could do with Flint here. So, let's not hesitate anymore. Um, as you guys probably know if you've been keeping up with these videos, uh, I like to look at these in terms of quadrants, so we're going to for, start from the top left, go down to the bottom right. So let's actually start uh, not at the top left, let's start in the center. So of course we do have the center here, we have a speed plus 5, uh, we have a HP plus 10, attack plus 5, defense plus 5, special attack plus 5, and special defense plus 5. So pretty standard stuff. Uh, starting in the center, moving our way outward though, into the top left. We do have a Dire Hit MP Refresh 3, which of course is going to have the moderately good chance of restoring 1 MP of the move used if the move is successful. So, of course, that's always good. Now we do have a bunch of blue tiles here, Special Defense plus 10, Speed plus 5, Special Attack plus 10, Speed plus 20, and Attack plus 10. Uh, now, mind you, I already have bought the uh, Sync Move upgrade, uh, so these three tiles should be locked behind a level 2. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And uh, you may not have them if you by chance miss the event, so he's coming back around. I know that he will, but basically those three are going to be blocked. Um, we also do have Speed Entry 2, which sharply raises the user speed when the Pokemon enters the battle, which, of course, I believe that is amazing. I think it's great to have speed as soon as you enter the battle for no other reason. Uh, then we do have Sharp Entry 1, which is going to raise the critical hit rate when the user enters a battle. That's actually really cool. It is locked behind a level three, unfortunately. And then Critical Strike 1 powers up attacks if they become critical hit. That is, I, re I really like that. I really do think that's really cool. All right, moving on to the top right hand side here. So we are going to start with our blue tiles. We have an attack plus five, attack plus 10, speed plus 10. And then we have up here, you'll see fire punch plus four, fire punch plus four, Fire Punch, Fire Punch, Fire Punch. So all plus fours there, uh, which is kind of detailing what this entire section is going to be all about Fire Punch. And you can even see the red tile here. It's going to be the Fire Punch Move Gauge Refresh 3. Uh, all are, you know, of course, has a moderately good chance of increasing the user's move gauge by one when the move is successful. Now we do have two lock tiles up here, another plus four on the power and an attack plus 20, which is pretty friggin' insane, but it is locked at the moment. Next, moving down to the bottom left hand side, we do have an HP plus 10, HP plus 20, special defense plus 10, HP plus 20, don't forget this defense plus 10 there, special attack plus 20, and another special attack plus 20. So, I like to think that Flint pretty much has like a ton of like just different possibilities. Um, as you can see, there were a ton of attacks in this side of things. Uh, and then there's going to be a ton of special attacks in this side of things. So you'll kind of figure out exactly where I'm going with that very, very shortly. But outside of the blue tiles, we do have We're on Fire, MP Refresh 3, which of course is going to give you one move point back to that. We do have Endurance, which is actually really cool. And then we do have Agile Entry 2, which is sharply raises the user's evasiveness when the Pokemon enters battle. So there's so many freaking passives here it's so cool but passives get really really costly and i oh, i hate that sometimes but um endurance is really nice because flint is a striker and not gonna have like straight up the best defenses so it's kind of nice that we have the ability to withstand some more damage with that i actually like that pretty well last but not least let's go over our last quadrant here starting off with the blue tiles Speed plus 5, Defense plus 10, Speed plus 5, all fine and dandy. And then you'll notice Fire Blast. So Accuracy plus 5 is great, Power plus 5 is great, and Accuracy plus 5 is great. So if we actually roll over here, Fire Blast is an 85. 
So that's actually going to give us five accuracy there and five accuracy there. So that's a 95, which is actually really cool. And they don't give us a way to 100% it, unfortunately, but hey, it's still definitely worth it. Uh, we do have, uh, of course, these two lock tiles are going to be a power plus five and a power plus five. And then we do have the move blast, move gauge refresh. Wow. Fire blast, move gauge refresh. Uh, which of course is going to give you an extra move bar um, once you successfully complete the attack. Moderately good chance of getting that. So all in all, I mean, you can kind of see that Flint has some very, very interesting directions that you can go in. And two of the coolest ones that I found is uh, kind of pertaining to keeping Flint either mainly physical or mainly special attack oriented. So. Flint, of course, if we actually take a look here at his stats, you'll notice his attack and his special attack are really high. Fire Punch is a physical attack. Fire Blast is a special attack. So it, it kind of depends on which direction you want to go, but we're going to try to detail both of these. So I'm going to put up some fancy graphics here. It's actually just a black line that I drew across the scene grid because, uh, you know, I'm pro. Uh, but we're basically going to detail a physical oriented um, flint right here. So of course we're always going to start with our center circle here. We're going to go outward into the top left hand quadrant. We are going to get that speed entry too. Uh, we are then going to get the speed and attack buffs right above that. This does actually take into account that you have the level 2 um, sync move unlocked. That's all we're going to do in this side though. Then we're going to move into the top right hand corner. We're going to get the two attacks. We're also then gonna get all of the fire punches that we can, actually skipping the speed right there and getting the fire punch move gauge refresh uh, at, instead, pretty much. So that's basically gonna boost up fire punch, which is of course our physical attack here. And it's gonna give it a ton more damage and it's gonna give it a chance to give us some move bar back when we need it. Next, we're actually gonna jump down into the bottom left-hand side, which we are gonna get the two HPs, the uh, special defense, and then we're gonna go for that endurance. Basically, the endurance is just going to give us a little bit extra life once we get low on health and we end up taking a big hit. At least we're not going to die. We are going to have at least one HP left to try to spout out some extra damage. So that's all fine and dandy, but let's say you don't like physical attack flint. Let's say you want special. You like the rolling chance of freaking fire blast. Fine. So we're going to actually get our center ring here. We're actually still going to get that speed entry too because speed is always nice. Uh Because if we actually take a look here, Fire Blast already has a whopping 121 on its base power. 49 compared to Fire Punch looks, you know, like horrible. But basically, we don't need too much extra power to already be amazing. It's the accuracy that really drives Flint into the ground and kind of needs a, a little bit of a boost. A little elevation, if you will. But that is actually going to be it for Flint and Infernape, guys. Let me know what you think of the two builds. Uh, which one do you prefer? Do you like physical? Do you like special? It basically comes down to do you like Fire Punch versus do you like Fire Blast? Personally, I think Fire Blast is a lot funner. It's a lot higher risk versus reward for me. Um, but I definitely think that the physical is a lot more stable and a little bit less gimmicky. Um, I yeah. So we are going to actually go ahead and do a quick sync pair scout here. So we're going to roll over to the EV and Leaf banner. We are going to do a quick daily discount. Of course, the only thing we need is that good old Elisa. On the count of three, if you want to follow along, we're going one, two, three. I thought maybe it's because I was loud all video. You know, maybe if I be quiet for a minute, I'll get some good luck. But we got a Janine. That's all good, though. But that is actually going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for watching. As always, remember, if you want to join the Discord, it's linked down in the description below. Also, down there are links to YouTube memberships and Patreon, if that's your thing. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and head out, but I will catch you in the next video.